Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents the delightful Frimmel operetta, Katinka, starring Gordon McRae and his charming guest, Anna Mary Dickey. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we travel to the Near East, to the land of mosques and minarets, where Anna Mary Dickey joins me to play the title role of Katinka. I shall be Ivan who loved and lost the lady, but who couldn't forget her loveliness. So here's Katinka, Act One. Here on the shores of the ancient Black Sea, The air is magic in the month of May. Beyond that line of hills, they say the world was born. And on a spring night, Allah himself walks the earth. And to young lovers, all things seem twice alive. But not for me. I had wandered for many months through many distant lands. But when I returned home to my native city, I found my beloved by Katinka on the very night of her wedding to another man. Uh, Welcome to the marriage feast, my friend. Katinka, see who is here. Ivan. Good evening, Katinka. My congratulations to you. We did not expect the wanderer to return on our wedding night, but you are thrice welcome, cousin. I thank you, Boris Strogoff, and I, I wish you happiness. No prayer of happiness for me, Ivan? Of course, Katinka. Silence, all of you. I lift my cup to the happiness of the most beautiful woman in Allah's domains. To Katinka. In this ruby cup of mine, Katinka, where the bubbles shine, Katinka, they have caught the pretty grace of your smile. Captive for a while And the sparkle of your eyes, Katinka Weaned from April skies, Katinka In this goblet's crystal depths brightly gleams Like a star seen in Katinka, sweet Katinka, you are like a rose, Katinka, just as fair, dear, just as rare, dear, and I love you, heaven knows, even angels seem to worship you, for they've sent you their charms from the My joy, dear, were divine If you were only mine Sweet Katinka, sweet Katinka You are like a rose, Katinka Just as fair, dear, just as red, dear And I love you, heaven knows Even a They've sent you their charms from the blue. Oh, my joy, dear, were divine. If you're only mine. 
You praise my wife. I have no quarrel with that, Ivan. But I trust your admiration stops with a sob. I have no choice, cousin. Now, my husband, according to the ancient tradition of our country, I am yours to command. Shall I dance for you, my master? What is your desire? Ivan has sung for you. Now I ask your music for me. A song from your heart. Yes, my husband, from my heart. I will breathe on the joy of my heart in a song. Just a simple song. Would its notes could but impart. Katinka, lovely. But now we must say goodbye to our friends and begin our honeymoon. Will you ask them to bring my luggage, Boris? Certainly, my bride. We must be on our way as quickly as possible. Ivan, you should not have come. Why have you ignored me? I ignored you? Months after months, no answers to my letters. No explanation of any kind. Ivan, you did write. I flooded the mails with my love. I begged you to explain your silence. I never got your letters. Your what? And I wrote every day, sometimes twice a day, and never a reply. It was your mother. She wanted you to marry Boris. Yes, a wealthy man, a good match. Your mother must have destroyed your letters before they were mailed. And yours before I ever received them. Tell me, do you love your new husband? No, Ivan, I've never forgotten you. Remember the little white pigeon you gave me before you went away? You kept her? Always, at my windowsill. Do you know she's found a mate? How I wish we could be as happy as the birds in my garden. Just beneath the eaves, Smith's ivy leaves, a little pigeon dwells. She's very circumspect. Fate and quite select as every neighbor tells. Quiet and alone, as still as stone, she sits the whole day long. But when the sun shows down. 
Katinka, hurry, there is not much time. Yes, I am coming, my husband. We have been cheated out of our love, my sweet. And now it is too late. Sweet, I won't let you go. There must be some way. I'm married now. It can't be undone. Wait. A peddler I met in the streets of Istanbul. He swears he has seen Olga. Olga? Your husband's first wife. Oh, she's dead. There are those who think she is alive in Istanbul. Oh, if that's true, then... If it's true, then your marriage is illegal. Oh, we must find her. Oh, it might take weeks, months. We'll look for her together. It is said that once a year at the springtime... In this very month of May, Allah takes a holiday. And his mission on earth is to help all true lovers find each other's hearts. Come, my love. We shall go searching through the city called Istanbul. Turn for the second act of Katinka in just a moment. How long has it been since you've enjoyed a real vacation in the fullest sense of the word? A vacation that gives you complete change of scene and the all-out relaxation you need and deserve after a hard year's work. Every section of America is packed with endlessly fascinating things to see and do. So this year, really let yourself go. Leave cares and worries behind and enjoy a downright wonderful vacation by train. When you travel by train, your vacation starts the minute the conductor calls all aboard. From then on, there is a small army of railroad men working for you to meet your every need and desire. Conductors and trainmen, engineers and firemen, porters and waiters. And besides all these men on the trains themselves, the men who keep the track smooth and safe, the men who keep the cars and engines in tip-top running order, the people who clean the cars, the signal men and the tower men, and all the rest of the railroad folks working for you. Yes, from the time you start till your trip comes to an end, all you do is lean back and enjoy yourself, while others do the work. And no matter what the weather is outside, it is cool and comfortable inside your air-conditioned train, with meals as you like them, and a chance to rest and sleep. 
so that when the trip is over, you arrive fresh and relaxed, ready to have the time of your life in the exciting vacation land of your choice. This summer, then, let the swift, safe, sure comfort of America's up-to-the-minute trains whisk you to the happiest vacation you've had in years. You'll be glad you did. Here is Act Two of Katinka, starring Gordon MacRae as Ivan and Anna Mary Dickey as the lovely Katinka. Oh, Katinka, sweet Katinka, you are like a rose, Katinka. Ivan, it's been such a peaceful journey. Yes, my love. Through the Bosporus into the Sea of Marmara. And look, there sits the fabled city of Istanbul, once called Constantinople, the city of conquerors and thieves, the city where Allah comes for his holidays. Listen, you can hear the silver symbols. Yes. In ancient days, the Greek voyagers thought this was the very top of the world. A portion of the heavens, higher even than Olympus. Is it this city or the month of May? What is it that makes all the magic? of silver symbol, tambourine and timbal, struck by fingers nimble to some sweet lay. Pretty tunes are tinkling, tiny feet are twinkling. Forms are swaying, raven presses swaying, everyone obeying, young God of May. Flower petals gleaming, garlands gaily singing. Can't last always, my sweet, unless we find Alda. Come, we must search every street of Istanbul. Nowhere. Nowhere to be found. She is dead. Olga is dead. And I am the wife of Boris Strogoff. Listen, the call of the faithful to worship. Allah, hear my prayer. 
Lead us to the woman who can set us free. You are searching for someone, my son. We are looking for the woman called Olga Strogoff. Have you seen her? The blind see many things that are invisible to those that have eyes. For the sightless must see with the heart. Allah has told me of your plight. Follow me. <laughs> We seek the woman known as Alga Strogoff. There, there is no one here by that name. You're lying. You are Alga Strogoff? No. Please, tell us the truth. We'll keep your secret. Why do you hunt for me down the back streets of Istanbul? Allah has led us to you. And I am the bride of Boris Strogoff. You pitiful child. My husband is a tyrant. I could not live with him. So I fled from his house and forged a death certificate. Will you swear to that? If it will save you from the wretchedness of my life, I will do it gladly. Katinka, you are free. We do not need to whisper our love now. We can shout it to the world. Still whisper it, Ivan. For when you whisper, I must come close to you to listen. Feel my heart, how its pulses are beating. Somehow I start at each shadow so fleeting. Moments of gold we are wasting, people. Come to me, come to me. But let nobody dare to see. Magic month of May, I salute you. Lovers everywhere, I give you a toast. Join me as I raise my cup to Katinka. Sweet Katinka, sweet Katinka, you are like a rose, Katinka. Just as rare, dear, just as rare, dear. And I love you, heaven knows. Even angels seem to worship you, for they've sent you their charms. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Anna Mary Dickey will return in just a moment. And our thanks to Barbara Woodell, Bill Foreman, and, of course, Marvin Miller, and to our entire company. Katinka, with book and lyrics by Otto Harbach and music by Rudolf Frimmel, was dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroad. Vacation is a magic word that brings pleasant anticipation. The things that make a really good vacation are the unburdening of cares, relaxation, a change of pace, seeing new things, new parts of this wonderful country. So this summer, as you look forward to that well-earned vacation, remember that the best way to do these things is to travel to your vacation spot by train. In this way, your vacation starts when you get on the train. You travel safely, comfortably, dependably, while the panorama of America unfolds before your eyes and you arrive fresh, rested, 
and ready to have the time of your life. Now here again is our guest star, Anna Mary Dickey. Thank you, Gordon. The wonderful part of this program is that you always get the girl. Married, single, fat, thin, somehow it always works out. She ends up in Gordon McRae's arms. Well, I'll tell you how I did it. I had it put in my contract, Anna Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the lucky girl who falls into your arms next week, Gordon? You, Anna Mary. Oh, goody. We're so delighted to have you with us for this visit on the West Coast that, well, we want you to be with us again. And we'll have a chance to sing the wonderful music of Jerome Kern together. For very warm for me. I'm a glow already, Gordon. <laughs> See you then, Anna Mary. <laughs> All aboard! Well, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next Monday night, this is Gordon McRae saying goodbye. <laughs> Katinka was presented by arrangement with Century Library, Incorporated of New York. Gordon McRae appeared through the courtesy of Warner Brothers. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. So until next week, this is Marvin Miller saying good night for the American Railroads. Now stay tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. <laughs> Hear the voice of Firestone on NBC.